Spot uses five stereo cameras located around its body to perceive the world around it. These cameras return images and depth data that the robot uses to map its surroundings in 3D. The cameras were originally black and white simply because those were the best that were available when Spot was first being designed. And that's not true anymore. The cameras have been updated so that they are now in color and they provide a much sharper image, which greatly improves the user experience and helps improve the operator's situational awareness. What you're seeing in these videos is Spot's new tablet controller. We initially launched Spot with a JXD gaming controller, but since then, we've realized we needed something that was more ruggedized, weatherproof, and reliable, which is why we've upgraded to the Samsung tablet. Not only can the tablet survive multiple drops from 1.2 meters or more with the protective case, but it's also weather sealed and it can be used outside in the rain. The tablet has a minimum eight hour battery life and can be used with a power bank for an even longer lifetime. It can also charge from zero to 100% within two hours. More so, the tablet has a bigger screen for better teller operating and data review and more processing power for better visualization. It's been optimized for autonomy and mission recording. There are digital joysticks to drive spot and record missions and more room on screen to edit those missions prior to playback. For spot with an arm, users can insert the tablet into a physical joystick add-on, which is included with every arm. You essentially dock the tablet into a device that offers physical joysticks, two five direction buttons and two bumper buttons so you can maintain maximum manipulation capabilities while driving the robot and operating the arm. Spot's new charger has been redesigned from the ground up. It can charge Spot's newest battery model up to full capacity in an hour or less. Users can also slot the battery right into the open compartment and refer to the OLED display for real-time information on the battery's charge. The charger can also still be directly plugged into the robot, which allows users to hot swap batteries. The charger is also built into a case, which makes it really easy for users to carry the charger and the battery at the same time. Spot users all over the world have been busy putting Spot to work. We've been looking closely at how we can help our users get to the next level of implementing Spot as part of their day-to-day -day process. Today, I'm excited to talk about a few new payloads that will further extend Spot's capabilities. The facilities our customers are deploying Spot in are often vast, remote locations. Reliable communication with Spot is critical in receiving data about their site in a timely fashion. Reliable communication is a fundamental but challenging thing to achieve. And while Spot can operate in an unsupervised state, our users want up-to-the-minute information and the ability to take over control at a moment's notice. This is why today we are launching two new payloads for enhanced communications, the Ragent Mesh Radio Kit and the Spot Core I.O. Installation of a site-wide network can often be time-consuming, but the Ragent Mesh Radio Kit is designed to help you deploy Spot quickly and easily as an isolated network dedicated for operating Spot. These radios are pre-configured to sync together out of the box, so you can simply focus on placing the radios around your site in the area Spot will be working. The Ragent Mesh Radio Kit ships with a mesh radio payload that mounts on Spot and three standalone mesh radios, which all mesh together that provide you a secure and reliable site-wide network. With the four radios in this kit, you can get coverage of up to 200,000 square feet, which we've seen become a permanent installation on site. In addition to the new Raja Mesh Radio Kit, we are also introducing the Spot Core IO. Spot Core IO is our new edge compute payload that includes a high efficiency computer as well as 5G connectivity. So using existing 5G networks that exist in different areas of the world, Spot can get connected without any installations on site. The unit uses the NVIDIA Jetson module, which includes a six-core ARM processor with a dedicated GPU in a small form factor. And this is a great platform for our developers to develop things like computer vision models for Spot to perform site inspections, continuous data collection, and more. Spot Core I.O. is designed with all of our users in mind. For developer users, they will appreciate the flexibility the various GPIO ports and the regulated power connections provide. This will make integration of custom sensors and other payloads a breeze. For our end users, the unit itself is weather sealed and ruggedized, so it'll work reliably anywhere Spot goes. It also has a built-in 5G modem, giving you another option for communications with the robot. This level of connectivity will give you additional flexibility in how you get data off of Spot remotely. We're also excited to welcome AT&T as our launch partner for 5G. At launch, Spot Core I.O. customers in the U.S can get connected to the network immediately 
and we will continue to work with providers all over the world to get more spots connected.